So now it's time to learn how to test inserting a movie into the database. And uh, for testing, since it's a post request, we need to use the form here. So I have created here a simple form that has all of these um, inputs. So this form has the title, the storyline, the language, the genre, the release date, the runtime, box office, and the stars. And the values I have here supplied these inputs with uh, fake uh, uh, values. And then I have here a button. And finally, I have a method, which is post request, and then the action. The action is the URL, and then the name of the file. So the name of the file, remember the name of the file is create movie. So here the name of the file is create underscore movie dot php. And the URL here, the localhost 8000, it's 8000 because I'm running my server on the 8000 port. So you need to check which port you are using. I'm currently using 8000. So here, as you can see, I'm using, I'm using uh, port 8000. If you are using another port, you need here to pass another port. And each time you change the port, you need to change here the URL port, the, uh, the port in the URL. Let me now save and save all, and let me head on over to the browser to test. So first of all, I'm gonna open my, I'm gonna open my desktop because we need to open the this file, which is insert test.html. I'm gonna open it. And as you can see, we are, I have here uh, many, many um, inputs. I have the name, I have the, the storyline, the language, the genre, the date, release date, the runtime, and the box office, and the stars. Now, let me test by clicking on submit. And here, as you can see, it says here, error, false. There is no error. And the message says, movie inserted successfully. So let's check whether the movie has uh, inserted, has been inserted successfully or not in the database. Let me head on over to the database and let me refresh the database to check with, uh, whether this is correct or not. So let me uh, refresh the movie's database. And... Boom, we have the we have the movie. As you can see, the movie Batman. This is Batman movie, and then action, and then the the genre action, the release date, the box office, the uh, runtime. Here we have a problem with the language. Let me check why we have this problem. So this problem here is because the name is the name here is language, and um, the the parameter here is language. And in the create movie here, it must be lang only lang, not language. So let me check that. Here we have lang, and here we have lang. Here, as you can see, I forgot the G. Here it must be lang with a G. Don't forget the G. And here lang, and then uh, here language. Uh, lang, lang, just lang. Let me now save and test one more time. Save all. And uh, let me remove this. I'm going to remove this movie. I'm going to remove it. And I'm going to test one more time. Let me now here. I'm going to go back because I want to, ch to use the form one more time. Let me use this form one more time here. I'm going to say Batman Begins, which is a movie that I think has been released a very long time ago, 2005, I think. I'm not sure the which year um, it has been released in. I, I forgot, but I think 2005. Anyways, the um, the stars let, let's say nine, and the runtime let's say one hundred twenty five. And I'm gonna click on submit, and um, as you can see, it says here error false, and the message says movie inserted successfully. Let's check our database. So in the database, if you refresh your movies database or table, you'll find that a new a new uh, record a new movie. As you can see, the Batman Begins has been inserted here. It says ba Batman Begins, storyline, language, genre. Everything is correct. The stars is, not, is 9, the runtime is 125. Everything is correct. So this is how you can insert a, um, a movie into the database, which is, as I told you earlier, is one of the cornerstones of creating an API.